For those of you who have been listening to me for decades on the radio or watching uh, the many various TV shows that I've had and performed on as far as social media as well, you know my love of basketball. Not only did I love it as a kid growing up, playing on various courts throughout Beaver County, but I love being behind that microphone doing play-by-play. -play. Of all the things in my career, that's right up there. And, you know, you get to hone your skills as a player on the courts in your hometown, and you get to hone your skills as a broadcaster behind the microphone or in front of that TV camera. And I did it for decades. And I always enjoyed watching those who were special at what they did. Look, everybody would love to be able to score the basketball every time they had their hands on it. Everyone would like to be able to be the leading rebounder, as I used to say, taking it off the glass, right? More than anyone. But the ability to block a shot in basketball is truly a gift. And it really is watching an artist at work, like the canvas, paint, it's amazing. Dukembe Mutombo was truly one of the best. 18 year career, eight time All-Star, Hall of Famer, and a guy whose heart was as big as his smile. He gave so much back to his homeland, his country, that any time I had a chance to see it, that his charitable work was doing amazing things, it always made me just feel as though I needed to do more. Well, he has died at the age of 58 from brain cancer. And when I think of all of the years that I've loved the NBA, and as I've been telling people, there's something going on. Maybe the older you get, you revisit things that were special to you in your youth and you were passionate about. But I have fallen in love with the NBA again. I just absolutely love it. And as we are about ready to embrace on another season, it is going to be a little sadder without Dukembe Mutombo. So I wanted to take time to send out my thoughts and prayers to his family and his fans around the world. He did incredible things on the basketball court, but what he did as a human being, second to none. He definitely will be missed. And I'm sure this year, the NBA, the commissioner, and all of the teams will take time to remember the gentle giant with that beautiful smile and that big heart.